pretty rough couple of days here. I'm I'm feeling like really really down mentally. Man, I, I saw a video yesterday from uh, from around the wheel who's frequent chatter, one of my favorite content guys on the internet. And he said something early on about living for yourself and and all that and I just sort of had this weird moment of like I I kind of don't like just realizing that really I think that like the only reason I'm here is because of my friends. That's all I do really is is for anything like that. I've just it's just I don't feel like all that great and I'm very demoralized. Maybe it's because I'm starting to get to work on things again and I'm just like I'll I don't know that I'll ever be all that good at any of this and anything and yeah, just just a total mess. Uh, on the upside though, we got card games and we can have we can have some very funny bad luck. So you know, speaking of funny bad luck, I feel like I should have like a set of dice or something over here to be like, hey, yeah, the thing, pick my random deck. What do we got? 15 in the game? You can't get a 15-sided die, so I'd have to get, like, something bigger and just be like, oh, yeah, we re-roll on a... You know. Um... Well, crap. What sounds like a good time? Other than... Well, could be a lot of things at this point. Have I done... Um... Oh, jeez. I'm like, what have I done or not done on here? And I'm thinking that, like, the the thing I would love to get, just to show it off because it would be nice and stupid, is a run with Observatory and Perkeo. Perkeo? Perkeo? Uh, I'm terrible with names, as usual. And... So, of course, what that does, for anyone who's not that knowledgeable about Balatro, Perkeo, or Perkeo as the case may be, is a legendary joker that at the end of a round creates a copy of a consumable in your inventory. Except that the copy is negative, so it doesn't eat your slots. So you can just accrue stuff basically infinitely. With Observatory, for any planet card that you have in your consumables bin, that gives that hand a 1.5 times multiplier multiplier. And I believe it's at the very end of calculation, too. Like, it's the last thing that goes in before chips and molts are put together. So, unsurprisingly, if you run with that, you can kind of get to a point where you just ramp up to really silly numbers and, you know, maybe we could see Anti-16 or something and see our second uh, final boss. Because that's what happens at Anti-16 as far as I know. Yeah, uh, quite a few of them are rough because, hey, various European languages can be quite weird. Well, I, I hope at least Yorick isn't particularly, like, throwing you off, right? <laughs> That seems a little bit mean to say that, but, uh... Sometimes I get a little bit just, like, acerbic in general, I suppose. Uh... Okay, well, this one does start us with Telescope, so that's... <laughs> you yeah, right. I... <laughs> I feel like you're overplaying the accent a little bit, sir. Didn't even know Joker until you heard you say it just now. Alan, please! Alan, come on! I'd say they teach you things in Oklahoma, but you were born in Texas. Were you educated in Texas? Is my next question. So I suppose that... <laughs> All I can say is, oh no! <laughs> I mean, Roundy turned out okay, but <laughs> you know, not not to be too mean about it, and especially because you know, Roundy now is a teacher in Texas. But uh... 
<laughs> this guy listened. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, this is a choice, actually. This is... Ooh. And by this is a choice, I mean, obviously, the right choice is card sharp. But I do love playing Riff Raff in order to build up a bit of a bankroll. And, like, if we just keep getting shit card after shit card after shit card, I can just sell them over and over. You know, get that junk rare money going. Mm, yeah, one day I'm really going to be able to afford a Black Lotus. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I.e. the definition of swimming upstream. Well, I got to say this. You're probably raising the average at the very least. So give yourself something for that. All right, let's take the smart play and pick card sharp. And, um, I suppose Odd Todd will do pretty okay for us for this point, because I can't buy that paintbrush now. Alright, so I want to think for a second here. Unfortunately, I'm not good at that. So, yes, yeah, so you give me plus 31. So that'll be 62 with two odds, which unfortunately makes an even number, but uh, 62, 72, we're getting nowhere near that. And I mean, even if we do this, uh, 62, 82, plus another 14 is 96. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I'm, I'm clearly just gaslighting myself a little bit with that being like, oh yeah, I can, surely I can go for the crit right off the bat. No. Play the game, knuckle shuts. Come on. And no one shot for us. Well, boo to that. Hey, it could be worse. Yeah, see, and we got to have Card Sharp kick in and give us way beyond the extra we needed here. Hmm. So, yeah, Bootstraps has fallen to zero if we buy it, unfortunately. Base cards. I mean, again, the money is potentially useful. Uh, let's crack the Spectral Pack because, again, no paintbrush for us. Alright. Uh, Ankh of Mishra here. This could... This could give us something incredibly funny or something incredibly underwhelming, depending on the flip of a coin. Meanwhile, Wraith will give us, uh, will eat four bucks from us, which is like nothing. And give us a rare Joker, which, I mean, that's potentially good, but also quite weird, so... You know what? Let's let's onk it up here and hey, two card sharps. Oh yes. I'll buy the business card too. Might come in handy, you never know. Yeah, see things are gonna get a little bit a little bit dicey here. The game is probably not gonna think too highly of giving me a hand that will give me a hand, you know. But we are going to try to to keep going for that flush cuz that well, there you go. Again, not likely to be our crit, but it does good numbers for us. Uh I'm going to be honest with you here. I don't 100% know what I'm doing with this, but I'm trying anyway. And meanwhile, the game just thinks I'm trying its patience. Yeah, see, we're, we're kind of up shit creek on this one, really. But, oh, wow, we, we lived by two points. That, hmm, I'm shocked, actually. That, wow, I, I can't believe we got away with that. We should not have gotten away with that. Because I played that like a... Like a clown, really. Uh, 
A bit like one of those things that's on the cover of the game. But, you know, darn if I can remember what that word is, right? So I think we're gonna go for pair strats. This is this is shaping up to be a pairs round. I don't think I've had a pair in a while. Yeah, the, the double card sharp is giving us some pretty ridiculous things once we get to our second hand. Ooh, now I could pick up both of these. And but a goose? I <laughs> Hey, thank you for the sub. Ridiculous thing incoming. My god, you are on 59 months. I just had a like a I had an affiliate anniversary recently. I've been doing this for five years that I've been able to get subs. Oh God, you mean just turning to dust? Which worse means that I was doing this while I was in my, yeah, pretty much, Jesus. Worse, that means I was doing this during my twenties, which, you know, ugh. Big Kring. Ugh, anyway. Before I start gagging to death here. You know what? I'm gonna go for grabbing both of these and skipping the planet pack, which does kind of hurt me a little bit. But I think this, especially combined with our, our two of these dudes here, will ultimately do good things for us. Oh, don't. Don't two pair it. That's, that's a bad move. That's a bad idea. Yeah, look at how big that second number is getting. Oh, yes. <laughs> I feel like I need that. I'm afraid we'll have to use math thing from Futurama or something. Just give me two bucks. Perfect! Oh, yes! I want that Constellation card and take the Celestial. Yeah. Wait, yeah, we're, we're playing the space deck, so we get our... Right, yes, they automatically have our most used planet in the pack. Right. My god, I already forgot. Now we just need Blueprint to show up. Oh, boy. That would be pretty great. Blueprint, Brainstorm. Can't I just Brainstorm for Blueprint? Wait. Let's... Da -da 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 -da. And yes, I do like throwing out extra cards for these things. I know the Psychic isn't in play and I don't have Splash, but... Somehow my brain's like, play all the cards. Ugh. Oh, hi, paintbrush. I nice see you again. All planet cards and celestial packs in the shop are free, unfortunately. Well, nothing there. And excuse me. Oh, those don't count as using planet cards, huh? It's okay. Boosting straight is not, uh, not really going to be our winner, I'm, like, blind to... <sighs> yeah, the, the jokes do sort of write themselves a little bit there, but... I often just completely miss out on straight hands, like, even if they're there, they're just like, Hey, yeah, this is free! I'm just like, huh? Yeah, I've seen, like, one instance where the game is like, Oh, hey, you're playing flushes because you're, you're coping have a flush on an orbital tag, and it's just like, just once. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Plasticillion. <laughs> you silly man. <laughs> Worse than Space Joker, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, Roundy. I'm with you now that Space Joker is a placebo. 
I keep picking that thing up in runs. I've gotten that thing in a run that's lasted like almost all the way to the end and I've gotten absolutely diddly dick out of it. And it's just like, wow, okay, I'm, I'm no expert here. Remember, I am not, it, hang on, let me, let me word this. Remember, I transferred away from a comp sci degree to a philosophy degree. So most of my math knowledge just kind of slowly disappearing. But I feel like one in four kind of means uh, not the odds that I've gotten on Space Joker, which I'm not sure if it's just like bad luck or if it actually is not as stated. Hey, easy pair. Well, I mean, to be fair, that's not a hard hand to hit. So discard those. And I mean, we probably shouldn't need to stockpile for other hands because yeah, these guys are doing so much work, but. Hey, nice thing to get in the shop. Blank. Less so, but hey. Oh, now that's a buffoon pack. I almost clicked on that. <laughs> then we were seeing that the only real buffoon is he here is me. That's right, everybody. I am, in fact, a clown. I'm like if Kefka didn't have good writers. And by good writers, I mean Ted Woolsey, specifically. And I mean, technically, that's more localization than writing. And yeah, you'd be correct to say that, hey, that's a different thing. Because you're right, it is a different thing. I said the wrong word. That's all. It happens to me more regularly than I care to admit. Sure, we'll go with that. Man, that would actually be pretty underwhelming for, for Joker if he didn't have any... If he didn't have any good lines. Alright. Um, let's Spectral pack it up. Let's see if we get some, some funny business here. Ooh, Trance. I think Trance is probably my, my big winner here. Familiar could give us a little bit more consistency on the pairs, even though, I mean, it's pairs. I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. Talisman, I mean, I'm spending this money hand over fist, but I feel like money is not going to necessarily be the thing that gets me here too much. It's probably going to be me, like, not finding anything to upgrade these two. So I'm going to take the trance because... I mean, that's just, that's just, it's free upgrades. I feel like I'm about to do an it's free real estate meme. And yeah, the, the flint doesn't give me any trouble here. The flint is a boss that can be a lot harder later on, but, you know, that's going to take us a while to get there. All right. Crack a booster. And, yeah, I mean, naturally, we're going to take the fool. We're going to level up our hand again, and more importantly, we're going to buff this out. I mean, really? Oh, the arm. Game, you're, you're already making my feelings hurt a little bit. Bit of a disarming presence or something. I Yeah, I mean look at this go. If the game wants to keep giving you the blue seal every time, I'll absolutely take it. Ooh, arrowhead. Um Unfortunately, I think our deck is a little bit too. Yeah, I mean, everything is, like, unchanged suit-wise, so Arrowhead is strong, but... 
it's not necessarily going to be our almighty play here. Shame I... Shame I'm not, like... Shame I don't have one more dollar. I could afford that, and I could buff this even more. I think I'll live, though. And so, thankfully, I... Well, thankfully, I guess, anyway. They, they did kind of feed us a... A low thought run, so I can. I cannot. Uh, <laughs> so it can be really hard for me to, to screw things up. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna take a minor debuff to our stats against the arm, but I'll just play two one pair hands and it'll be fine. I'll. I'll be slightly annoyed about it, but like. 22,000 is not a hard score to make. And see, we're reaching such a point where we're almost doing it in one, which is pretty impressive in its own right. Nothing doing there. Let's... Let's go. See? Here comes the psychic at the end of this anti- which will make me only look slightly silly for playing every card in my hand that I'm allowed to. Arcana pack. Well. I'm just curious how much this guy is actually adding. A Flat 10? Eh. I could take the cash. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's a. F What'd I just do? I wasted a buttload of money. Wow. Good work, me autopiloting. Was it in the other slot a second ago and I just. I just dumbed? Probably. Alright, so... Uh... Is this a pivot to high card? I mean... I could, technically. Oh, Madness would be funny on a higher difficulty if I could have, like, permanent Jokers, but, uh... Yeah, that's that's something that would be good if the game will be kind and let us draw that. You've got a, you've got a good point, though. That is, that is quite an investment in our future. Now, I think it's pretty obvious here that we, we almost have to take this. I, I only have one consumable slot. I forgot. That's okay. It's still useful. And we will... It's probably worth it to change it. Yeah, we got two for a diamond, so I can do this without, like... And just go back to normal! <sighs> Normal-ish, anyway. Alright. So... Look at all of these, these single pairs in the... Oh. That doesn't work here. My bad. I guess it doesn't count because it doesn't score. Oh, you're right. Oh. Oh, boo earns to me. Well, it's fine. It doesn't work here. Because, well, yeah, this is, this box can be kind of jerky for very specific things like that. 
Otherwise, I don't think the Psychic is usually that bad unless you're like, oh, hey, I'm half Joker. Dot deck. Ah, that grabber is tempting. I got a couple of I got a couple of walks around the thing here to to wait for that. Uh, enhance two cards to molts. Emperor would only give us one tarot, so that's just like if I really think these are too bad. But malt cards, half joker is probably better than swashbuckler. Yeah, I mean it would it would give us more points, and I could like not dump needless cards. Plus, we've surmounted the psychic, so we don't have to worry about an instance of a of a place where that's not a thing that triggers at all. Let's go for it. And we get... We had a Hierophant, the Lovers again, and the Tower. So... What are we... Oh yeah, we have the most kings right now, right? Oh no, are we just tied for everything? Oh, right, because it didn't trigger during that that round. Right. Uh, five of clubs into a stone card? Sure. Let's go for it. Let's go for that. Okay. Now we copy that. Oh, yeah, three cards, so... I mean, again, we could, like, basically hard pivot to high card, I think, at this point, if we wanted to, but... Mm. Uh... No, I want to leave that, so that way I can definitely afford that grabber. Copy the ace. Play it again. That's not worth a ton of points. Oh, well. And we'll throw the three out. Ooh, nice. There we go. There is that stone card. All right, now take the grabber. Again, I think I'm going to need it, especially if I... Goofed the way I did there a couple times. There we go. We finally get to copy this. Nice. That would be quite helpful right now. Uh, but I'm going to crack the Jumbo Spectral and see... Ooh, we get a Legendary Joker here. So... This, I'm thinking... Uh, well, gee, this is actually quite rough because... Obviously, the, the things in the middle are just secure. Those are not going anywhere. For reasons that should be quite understandable. Yeah, I'll kick the half joker. That'll let me cycle the deck better and, you know. Hey, there's Yorick. We, we, we were making jokes about him earlier. And here we are. Alright. Copy that. And... Yeah, set up so that way we can do that. And 
And now just start throwing. I need to, like, throw as many cards as possible every time. Oh. Yeah, that's all our discards. In order to start buffing Yorick a little better. Right, we're at nine. I'm gonna skip that planet card. Wait a sec, how deep are we? Okay, yeah, it's it's a big blind next, so I think we can get that and still be able to afford wasteful in a second. Which, to me, that, that's quite useful. Because that'll let me help gas that up some more. Terrible game. You're really letting me have it here. Discard those. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Copy the steel. Hey, we got a boost. All right. It's fine. We're still spending all of our discards. All right, we only have the one consumable slot, so I'm just going to say, screw it. We are going to spend one of those two blue seal cards, because, hey, yeah, now the copies are lining up like that. Buy that. And, yeah. Next round, all cards debuffed until one Joker sold. Well, unfortunately, this is where DNA is going to leave, because I need the things that give me score more. But I do appreciate what it's done for us, because it's done quite a bit, actually. And yeah, just start start tossing everything that comes our way, basically. I'm going to play this hand out just to get things started. As I try to dig for a good pair here. I guess we're going to take a little bit of a hit on our, our build here. Or build up, rather. Okay, now game, don't be a complete jerk here. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's what we like to see. Unnecessary amounts of of our cards here. Yeah, look at those numbers. We are we are making some headway. I have confidence that this is going to get to a decent place in endless mode. Use that. Golden Joker is not a thing that's really going to help me out too much. Sixth Sense as well. But this will always be useful. And maybe the Arcana Pack will have a judgment for me to take. No, but it has a wheel for me to take, which is funny too. Hey! Nice! We'll take it! Oh shit! Well, I hope this isn't how it ends because I just saw the needle as our boss here. And with one pair to make it, that is potentially going to be extremely rough. Oh, I just don't want to discard any of this. Incidentally, this is like really the kind of hand that I would want 
against the needle is a pair, two stone cards, and two steels in hand. All right, game, can you like send me a burglar, please? It did it! It did it, you guys! I mean, again, this is literally just gonna be here until the end of the blind, the, the ante, pardon me. But oh my God, the cold shot! I, I don't know how I did that either, okay? We're, we're gonna skip that part of proceedings. <laughs> As for a shitload of money, oh. Oh, uh, if only I could just, I. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna grab this just on the off chance that it becomes useful. And I'm so confident and cocksure right now that we're skipping that. All right. All right, game. Let's let's see some funny stuff here. Of a variety of uh Ooh. So, this is a little bit of a of a funny spot because I got a couple of options I can do right now with this death card. Turn it steel. Okay. I will accept your advice for what are fair reasons and then I'm going to do something gigantically stupid asterisk because it's going to pop these guys. And that is that important to me. I could probably have like I probably could have pivoted to high card to continue to use the meme phrase, but I think this is going to work out right. Yeah, I mean, look at that number. It's... We're going up in the world, folks. Or are we sure as hell ain't going down in the world anyway? All right. Burglar. You've helped me out more than enough. Um... Palette or Celestial Packs? Or one Celestial Pack, and I guess I'd buy Uranus in order to in order to buff up the other thing. Oh yeah, remember, move this over. I'll come back for this later if I don't die. Oh yeah, let, let's take the Mega Pack because, gosh dang it, we should make that, you know, we should make that pretty good. Yes, you have a nice, uh, whatever you're gonna do now there, Mr. Allen. I'm feeling the good luck, at least right now. I mean, it sounds like a good idea, but also... I kind of need to start dumping crap for, for Yorick a little bit in order to... make him a little bit more OTT. At least, in my opinion, that's where my, my growth spurt is, is headed. Yeah. Um... Dumping the steel card, so, uh, steel card. Dumping the stone card seems like a maniac play, so I'm, I'm going to avoid going quite that far out to lunch. But I will play this even with the the steel card there, just to make sure I've I've prepped a hand here. Wow, these numbers are uh, still probably going to end up getting me stymied later on, but I'm, we're doing work at the moment. Uh, I'll pass on these. Big blind, what have you got for us? Yeah, me being able to do this and do our setup. And now, now for when we start shucking potentially even up or down I mean 
Actually, yeah, the way this goes, I think I can throw the stone card. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't do anything with that. That's... Game, you're being real funny right now. <laughs> I only have one consumable slot, game. <laughs> uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I love this game because it's incredibly silly. <laughs> all right. Use that. The bull is definitely not going to get us where we want to be at any particular point. Lusty Joker is a little bit too random for me because, well, all of these. I mean, it's it's technically useful. But again, I really want this palette. I think that will help me. Well, that'll help me just have more of my like in hand triggers that I want more often. We're going in for it, and you know something? Fuck it, we're going in for this, too. Show me... Oh, well, we'll just take the fool. Again, I mean, buff here, buff to our hand type. All face cards are debuffed. Well, mildly tragic. If only because that means that these don't, like, score anything let's let's throw these out here to activate card sharp and now we start burning up all of our discards getting ourselves to that plus 20 or well plus 20 points on him rather yeah what are you up to times six Wow! All right, I... I feel my confidence is earned right now, at least. Like, I'm not being a complete... nut here. Hmm, Nacho Tong. Nacho Tong would be good, so... Yeah, it's... We're... We're going places in the world. <laughs> We're gonna, gonna only, uh, hey Retro, how's it going? We're, we're doing this for me to basically take a break from whatever I was doing before for the rest of the week. Let's, let's take this pair. Yeah, 800,000 off of that. I mean, I mean, really? we're in what we could politely consider to be a good position. Um, we'll keep all of that. Is I admit that, oh, hey, get a load of these. I admit that now I am feeling a little bit more of the pinch. Well, good job, buddy. <laughs> all right. Buff ourselves up to a level 24 pair. Oh my god. Yeah, all of these... All of these molts are just giving me so much. All right, give me that Nacho Tong so that way I can feel even more like I'm going to have a good day. Play this for our our quick setup. Yeah, so we got aces. We can keep hold of those. Yeah, what the hell? We'll throw the stone card. Again, at this point, I'm feeling quite confident in my ability to to get anywhere with this. Seven away from a boost. All right. Yeah, play the extra cards just for fun. And by the way, plus 56 malt on, on our supernova. That's... 
I'm telling you, this is... This is wild. Eventually to be upgraded, possibly to Wicked or even Havoc. Wait. Uh, yeah, Supernova is one of the jokers in this game. Uh, for every time that we play a specific... Uh hand it just keeps getting stronger yes that is true I just have been looking at most of those and being like mm, yeah these are not hooking me so much but as soon as I find something good which hopefully will be at this shop because otherwise I may actually be up shit Greek but uh yeah <laughs> listen to this guy Times eight? Ooh, wow. Again, I love seeing those numbers go absolutely to ridiculous places. Nice. Oh shit, there it is. Observatory. Redeem. Uh, anything good here? Mad Joker. That's not going to cover what we need here. Now, tragically, this can't go into our, our consumable slot to give us that extra little bit of multiplier. But it does give us an all-important buff. So, as we come up to 300 million, uh, the best possible hand in this game is called in game parlance a flush five which is five copies of literally all the same card same suit same rank unsurprisingly it's quite hard to pull off you have to use things that alter your deck as you go and uh yeah those can sometimes be a pain in the butt to get uh depends a little bit on your luck really yeah, okay, those don't count as discards. Um, I'm a clown. <laughs> At this rate, that is sort of how that feels a little bit. Uh, all right, do this. All right, times nine for him. Wow. Someone here is eating well. Unfortunately, I think we're about to eat dirt. Yeah, we're not scoring enough to actually break through this, tragically, but, I mean, oh, right, I, I'm i sorry, I probably was just, like, not paying 100% attention to it, because, like, how often do I pay full attention? Oh, yeah, those two can go kick rocks. They're, they're legitimately unable to do anything useful for us, sadly. Oh, my God, the... Four steel cards. I wish I still had those stone cards. Because that would get us some mileage. Well. It's pretty big numbers. In fact, I think this is the, the highest I've... It's not the best hand I've gotten, so I've probably beaten this blind. I don't think I've ever seen anti-13. Uh, not counting anything that has to do with hieroglyph or petroglyph or any of that shit. But, uh... Yeah, this is beyond a solid run. That's that's pretty wild. Uh, if you guys want the seed, I guess you may as well take a look at that. Cause like, wow, that that went places. All right, let's uh, let's take in a new run here. That's okay. It's for anyone else here who is yeah, you know what I'm saying. Probably. Um, so now I got to think about what's what's our next interesting choice here. 
or what would just generally be kind of fun to play. Uh, the magic deck. I haven't done a whole lot with this. I had an idea one time, and tragically, it turns out that it doesn't work. Because my thought was, take the magic deck and see if you can get to the soul card. But the fool will not copy those. Your, your two copies of the fool won't work there because it's a spectral card. Makes sense, but it's a little unfortunate nonetheless. So, um, well, geez, uh, I don't think I've done a whole lot of checkered deck stuff on here because admittedly I did like speed run unlocking the checkered deck because the checkered deck is quite easy. It's all hearts and spades. So it's like dirt easy to get. Uh, to get flushes and stuff like that. So it, it's kind of like... I don't want to sound too mean. It is kind of like the entry-level deck on some on some level. It's kind of the easiest to at least get a foothold in. But I would assume that it has a low cap without a whole lot of, like, adjustments. Yeah, so we did take the skip in order to grab that hollow tag because I think... That could be quite good. And I mean, hey, it's it's free jokers, right? I... <laughs> ah, runner. Straight. Mm. I think we can make this work, maybe. Uh, and hopefully start, like, building this up. I do kind of suck at, at, like, building for straights, though, but we'll, we'll give it a whack. Hmm. I think Rocket is more money in the, in the greater scheme. We're gonna take Rocket. That buffoon pack is a little bit, mm. But we'll go ahead, we'll crack the, the Jumbo Celestial. Maybe we will try to make this a straights run. But you won't stop me from taking this anyway as our fallback hand. Because, yeah. Alright. Now we're going to try to strategize around aiming for straights. So that way we can try to pad out the runner here. Which means that I'm probably going to end up doing like the same discard three times and just be like, well, we tried. Although, here we go. Yeah, so if we can if we can do more of those, that'll keep getting better. Gains plus one molt per consecutive hand with played without a scoring face card. Uh, uh blue joker. I mean blue joker can be strong, but hey, if we're gonna churn this badly, it's probably gonna fall apart real easily. Plus, I like my grabber. I like having a a lot of hands to play. I like having a good buffer of Excuse me. Oh, well, this fell right into our lap. Nice. Plus, we get as much money out of that as we can, so that's good. We made the 10 bucks back immediately. It's like the most expensive reroll you've ever seen. Mad Joker is not really playing to our strengths too much here. Shoot the moon. I'm going to grab shoot the moon and I'm going to... Mostly I'm going to hope that it does a whole lot for us because it might not. Uh, house is not a great boss for us to be dealing with if we want to lean that hard into it. Um, I'll skip the investment tag. That's not actually as impressive as it sounds. All right, we'll, we'll fish for the five. I mean, we could 
Instead, we're going to fish for the seven, I guess. All right. And disappointment. Ooh. Disappointment indeed. I'm just going to play those. And I mean, we get like really big malts. So if we have to like play a couple of yeah, I mean, we we still won this one on a high card because our threshold is quite small. Seeing double. Ah, yes, this is... I forget if I said this before, but this is just a Kingdom Hearts visual, isn't it? Like, this kind of looks like something that surrounds the, the Org 13 a little bit, just more clubs shaped. I'm probably speaking to the wrong crowd to to say anything about that, but uh, I digress. This is useless to us because it requires clubs and uh, you might have noticed we don't have a whole lot of those in the deck. I can't seem to find any of the damn things, so. We're just going to play this to reveal a couple cards there. Well, we know that's a queen. So... Yeah, I guess this is just... This is just how things go, right? What can I say? Except that's some weird luck. Alright, so... Right now, we're fishing for an eight. And we're gonna get sevens, like, repeatedly, huh? Ten, ten, I mean, yeah, look at all these pairs. Oh! Hey, thanks Mimic for the... Names. Chester. Thanks for the extra dollar Lover, there. S. Nail. <laughs> Kai. Lock. Do. B. Loom. Gazebo. <laughs> Gazebo. You see, it, you say that, and I also remember Chester was literally one of the names of one of the, the chest monsters in the OG Super Mario RPG. So that's pretty funny to me. Yeah, we'll take our Nacho Tong so we get more hands. I will... Uh, Mystic Summit is going to go, like, all the time. The way this is going. So, we're taking that with us. And we're going to... Uh, not so much be into what we've got here. Get these. Uh... Pop off Temperance. Yeah, Seance, uh, I mean, Seance is a thing that could feasibly happen with reasonable regularity in this deck. Should I do it or is this just going to be a dead slot and like a waste of four bucks, basically? And I'm going to sell it back like halfway through the rest of the run. Is that yes, take it, or yes, it's going to be a dead slot, and I'm going to just, like, be coping when I sell it back? Do it for now? All right. Let's go for it. See, we're, we're doing pretty okay over here, so I'm actually going to... I'm going to try fishing for... for the straight flush in spades. All right, so we're looking for a, uh, looking for a ten. Ah, boo earns. Well, uh, I mean, we can continue to sit here and fish for a ten. I mean, I think at that point, a a straight flush is basically going to be a guaranteed win anyway, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll dump the eight. I mean, our odds are the same of either of these. Wait, why do we only have three? Oh, right, because that's red. Right. Not quite a royal, but that gives us a boost to runner. Ah, I see. The old, uh, yeah, the, the slot machine monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! Which has a unique equipment card in 7 completed, if I recall correctly. So I'm just like, wait, is that how that worked? But also my brain is like, wait, are you thinking of jackpot? No, I'm not thinking of jackpot. All right, so we'll we'll do this. Now, this is actually going to be a useful thing of just like start converting my stuff over. However, I th I am at a bit of a loss as to whether or not it would behoove me on a strategic level to do this and then all my aces are hearts or if I should spread things out a little bit in order to try and ease my ability to get a straight flush as opposed to like a four of a kind that are all the same suit, which doesn't give me a boost. So ultimately, I think what I'm going to do is this. Oh, yeah. OK, seven complete can boost any machine. I forgot. This isn't a good hand for what we're looking for here, but those can go uh, seven, six by four. Nine. Uh, we're, we're fishing for the same amount going this way, so we'll do that. Ah, oh, we're close. We need an eight. Oh, game, you are really mean today, aren't you? There we go. There's our straight flush. Hey, we actually got a spectral card out of it. It's talisman, but it's... God, I need those so badly. You are correct, sir. I'll I'll take the Neptune because we're we are trying for it and we're failing for it but yeah those are not good I was fishing for a, a chance at a shortcut or a four fingers but I didn't want to re-roll too much let's throw a re-roll uh, game go to hell <laughs> all right so the arm this seems like a case where we can really just like try to set up for something good and take what we get otherwise. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Yes, yeah, so that, that'll be enough. I'll be fishing for two cards then, and I don't I don't like being in that position. That's that's kind of awful. So we'll we'll go for the one that's a little more not as good. There we go. Actually, there it is. I'll throw I'll throw down another discard because yeah. All right, talisman. Uh, I think seven is actually like dead center here. So do that. And yeah, we'll 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 chop a level off of our straight flush tragically, but. I mean, we do it in we do that in one turn. And we pulled an immolate. That is dangerous. That is a very high risk bit of business we have going on here. As in like do I just want to 
do I just want to chuck it into the, the thing already, or... Probably not. Anyway, we're gonna wheel. Nope. Go reroll. Star is not useful. Other one? Ooh. Okay. No, that's a Mega Celestial, right. Okay. Um... This hand is heavy enough on spades that I am tempted to just to just burn for the 20 bucks. Yeah, let's let's go for it. And then discard our last three cards and basically take a reboot here. Those out. Uh 10 9 8 7 6 5 yeah, I mean, we're looking for two cards no matter what we do here. Wait, I threw my last red nine out, didn't I? Yeah. Shit, I screwed up. Well, all right, queen. Do I have a red king still? I sure do. All right. So, yeah, our... We are now putting all of our hopes on a royal flush, hilariously. At least in terms of getting that, uh, getting the straight flush, rather. I mean, I'm sure that we, yeah, we, we still basically win no matter what here because, yeah. Bit of a pity, but I mean, really, we've gotten enough triggers out of, off of that in general that I can't be too mad. Onyx Agate. What a bad time for that to show up, because that's not useful to us in this hand. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the Neptune. Fortune Teller. Wow, we've taken, like, no tarot cards this run, it feels like. Diet Cola. No space for that right now, unless I were to dump that, but that's giving me money at a good pace. Uh, emergency backup hand boost, I guess? Sure. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. So, we're looking at spades here. Want a 7, and then either a 10 or a 5. Well, there's our seven. Now we just need a ten or a five. We do have tens and fives of spades still, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Go for it. Is that plus 90? Ouija, convert all hand cards in hand to a single random rank minus one hand size. No thank you. That's actually quite rough. Trance, Sigil. Um, now, you see, the problem with Sigil is that it has a 50% chance of severely destroying my ability to play this deck. So Trance is really just the play. Take that, and off we go. All right, can we get, can we get a 10? Can we get a 10? Do we wrap around if this is, no, it's not a straight flush. It's only if it's a slow, basically. But there we go, there's our Royal. Playing more of those in this than I think any play, any hand I've ever, any game of this I've ever played. And sell the sigil. Play those. And get a Mercury. Because the flint actually probably interfered with our with our easy win there. That's a shame. Alright. 
Observatory. We're going for that. Okay, Arcana pack. Hermit. Keeping the Mercury up there for now, because that could help. Yeah, unclick it. There we go. This for my own edification, you know. Oh, here we go. Hey, Chris. Oh, shit. I, I screwed up, didn't I? Oh, well. Burnt Joker. That would change, like, our entire... Uh, like, our entire sort of thing going here. So, yeah. Uh... Yeah, actually, I... I guess I will dump Seance. It's... Or should I dump Rocket? I mean... I think what I should do is I should deal with these booster packs first. In that case, uh... Think I got enough money to say goodbye to Rocket? Fair enough. Uh, what's your fool is Hermit? We'll use this. Might not necessarily be the most advisable thing, but we will accept it. I think we'll be able to live with ourselves. A pity the a pity the blue seal card isn't in here. But I'm going to target a card towards the middle here to, to Cryptid. And High Priestess. Yo, let's go with that. Alright, so yeah. Rocket, farewell. Take that. And go in here. As I'm still just kind of like, I can't believe I'm doing this. This is so silly. Speaking of silly, like, neither of these are particularly doing much for us, but which one would I really want to hazard more? Well, okay, I think that kind of settles it that, yeah, go for the hearts. At this point, I, I'd like to hope I knew that, but oh well. Okay, so King Jack for here. Or we start from 10, 9, 8, 7, excuse me, 6. I mean, this is a, a regular straight by itself. And that gets us to boosting the runner, which is pretty good. It's just a pity I couldn't have had this as my first hand. Because then I could buff the Burnt Joker. Uh, buff the straight with the Burnt Joker, pardon me. I'm going to go for it. And, again, should probably keep padding out any of the things that let us scale hard. And now is where we start going for trying to flag down our, our better hand here. Use that and play the hand. Because, yeah, regular regular straights will do it for us, too. Family, the tribe. Oh, darn. Neither of those are. I think there's one for straights. Hardly in dire straits. Yeah, there you go. 
We already got our money for no- oh. That's a terrible joke. And hey, look, a, a boss blind that literally doesn't affect us. Hilarious. Just want to make sure I, Yeah, I have more than enough stuff to... Aim for what I'm aiming for here. <laughs> Puns are my walk of life. Nice. <laughs> ah... So just for just for a little bit of security for the moment, I'm going to not throw all of that out just yet. Okay, yeah, now now we just angle just directly for that royal if we can. If the game feels like giving it to us, which it almost does. I mean, at this point, a pair is pretty strong, too. Yeah, here we go. That's all right. Have a nice night, Retro. Get your your sleep going there. Wasteful. Yeah. Yeah, we need that. We, we actually seriously kind of do, really. Uh, Hierophant. We'll, we'll take that. We'll boost these. Because otherwise, manipulating our deck like that seems a little bit... Mm, I don't know how much we need to. Aside from just, like, destroying smaller cards. Six. Six. Damn. Well... We'll take the pair boost. There we go. I guess sometimes you just need to play ungodly amounts of royal flushes and I I could use that crystal ball sometime soon. Otherwise, this is useless to us. <laughs> I'm, I'm really realizing, oh, right. I'm not gaining any of these anymore. Crap. I could sell it for a throwback. That's an option. I'm always a little bit hot and cold on, on spectral packs anyway, just because sometimes they can... They can fuck you over so badly. So yeah, I mean, really, it's it's done more than enough at this point that I'll I'll sell it. And eventually I'm probably gonna come back to that and go, shit. Why'd I do that? Eh, boosting our high card. Right, we're, we're fishing for a two or a seven of hearts. If possible, not of spades, but I mean, I guess if the game only wants to give us spades, I'm I'm holding that in the hand anyway. Yeah, there we go. That will have to do. And throwback is not like an amazing, uh, you know, super joker there, but it's super joker, uh, not an amazing multiplier source. The hell am I talking about when I say Super Joker? I mean, other than I'm the Super Joker, apparently, but... It is it is a, a Molt Molt, so... It, it's an exponent, we'll call it that. Uh, Foil Lusty Joker. I'm feeling that a little bit more than I'm feeling Shoot the Moon, believe it or not. If only because I think Shoot the Moon is probably not going to get us more than one proc very often. 
Drunkard would just be quality of life, but it wouldn't really give us a whole lot of scoring opportunities, so I'm going to pass on it, which feels makes me feel a little bit silly, but whatever. Oh yeah, speaking of destroying small cards. Yeah, because at this point, just we'll we'll bank literally that hard on on trying to draw royal flushes. You know, for fun. Except for this one time where I'm like, yeah, actually, I'm not doing that for some reason. See, thankfully we have so many hands that even if I'm in a position where I'm just like, okay, I gotta play garbage for an hour here. At least I can, like, just, just brute force it pretty easily. Yeah, like this. Um... Sure, we'll just use this in order to get a, a pair in there. I was I was waiting for it to I was hoping that it would give me either a straight flush or a regular straight, and yeah, I was gonna I was gonna put it to use, no worries. But I do feel what you were saying, nevertheless. You were onto something. I had a plan. It just may not have been a great one, but... Okay, uh, Swashbuckler is not gonna... Yeah, that's not gonna stay, because that's... 7, 10... 14. Yeah, so it would be weaker than Mystic Summit after I sold Mystic Summit. Tragedy. It's very rare that I have plans, but I do occasionally come up with them. So, yeah, um, okay, yeah, this is the, this is a two that we want to keep for obvious reasons. So we're gonna, we're just gonna keep toasting our smaller stuff and try to push real hard for the big stupid play here. And speaking of big stupid plays here, we're going to skip both of these and go straight to the pillar so we don't have to think about what cards are or are not debuffed. And we're going to get like the most tragic hand that we've had possibly all night. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a strategy, I think. I think. Probably not. Okay, can we can we do what I'm looking at here? Uh four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I I do not like that. But I think that yeah, this is where the strategy of burn everything until you make something work may not necessarily work. Because sometimes you just, you put yourself in a position like this. Where you've overburned yourself. Oh hey, a four of a kind. We, we get to play these like once in a millennium, so... I'll play a four of a kind just for that purpose. Just to say, hey, yeah, I I did it. A uh, four of a kinded. Uh, yeah, so we're we're digging for a six and an eight, both of which do exist. Have to confirm it just in case. Alright. Hair, I don't think this is going to put us over? Yeah. And again, high card. Oh, that actually did push us over the top there. I, 
I could have spent one of those and gotten a boost to our high card. Erosion. Oh my goodness. Yeah, get out of here, Mystic Summit. So because of our, our incredibly goofy strategy here of thin the deck down into just royal territory, just, just royal flush and a black seal, we're at plus 28 multiplier for Erosion. I think this is the smallest this deck has ever been for us, or that I've ever had a deck, period. I'm fooling up in order to grab one of those and crack over an next Arcana pack, and we get, um, hmm. Right, hang those and eh, sure we'll, we'll do it this way I'm sort of introducing into the air the possibility that maybe I'll draw uh, I'll draw the Sun at some point and have that as as a thing to, to transform that. What's in Shuffle Soul Jokers is our boss here. That's that's interesting. Oh no, we keep that. Oh. Well, how about that? And how about how about a reroll actually? Yeah, sure. Unfortunately, it won't reroll those packs, but oh well. Sure, we'll, we'll upgrade just keep upgrading our fallback hands, I suppose. And yeah, look, we're fishing for a nine. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say we have a nine of hearts. It's just, unfortunately, it's only one. Yeah, the only nine left in the deck is... I mean, do I just take this now? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. Oh! Ooh! <sighs> Wasn't enough, but that is, and that gets us another pair. I mean, we could just pivot to pairs at this point. We are in such a position that it's not completely stupid. Just mostly. And nope. Darn. The wheel has disappointed us again. Classic wheel. It's not... <laughs> oh, you. You're a great guy, Rowdy. <laughs> I just, just want to put that out there, that you are, in fact, a great guy. And I'm not talking about the one from Mario RPG. <laughs> unless... Unless that's something you're good at. If you can... If you can balance on a ball like that... Maybe... Maybe. Anywho... Negative... Madness, I... I am not doing that. But I will just boggle at it for a moment because... Like, what else do you do, really? Except for stare in a slack-jawed manner... 
and upgrade those. All right, Mega Pack, come on, give me some good news. Or some mediocre news. I mean, that's a distinct possibility, too. Nope. I'll turn the king into a... One of those. Reroll? I don't even know what what the hell I'm re-rolling for, really, because this'll... This'll do by itself. I wish throwback was something else, but... Eh. It, I don't think it actually has an effect. Yeah, it's, it's flush. There we go. That will give us the, the pair boost. No kings? No kings. Well, darn. Getting pretty good points out of that. That's... That's nice. I... Did I toss out a king? I tossed out a black king. Sorry, I'm I'm still looking for for straight flushes because at this point I'm playing things the goofy way, really. Yeah, no. Good catch. I'm glad you're paying attention because I could miss something. In fact, it I likely will. I will likely do something incredibly dumb at some point and just be like, wow. Wow, I sure did fuck up there. I'm gonna dredge these for, uh... Yeah, no blueprint, no brainstorm. It's a bit of a tragedy, but it happens. And sure, boost the flush, I guess. That's... That works. All right. There's our royal flush. All right. Pop one of these mercuries and go for it. Yeah, I was I was feeling confident about that being a one shot cuz at that point abso absolutely, right? It's almost got to be High card become our oh yeah high card has become our highest far and away. All right, well, let's take that to make our lives a little easier. Excuse me. Wheel? No. Only one hand type this round. So if this goes particularly badly. All right, so we've got. King, so we can dump a queen. And we're fishing for a red jack. There we are. Thank goodness. Shame about no seal. Maybe I should have dug for that and tried to get a third Neptune in there. I'm sure we'll be okay, though. Omen Globe. Ooh, that could be fun. We'll take it. Uh, Buffoon Pack. Looking for the usual suspects. And El Zilcho. No reason to buy that because we don't have Constellation. There's no Constellation prize for us. <laughs> uh... Uh, th was I overdoing it a little bit? Probably. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, somebody step on a duck? <laughs> Alright, come on. One and done. No! Damn! Oh, paying for my hubris. That's my least favorite thing to pay for. Besides everything else. Wait. <laughs> Do I still have a red 10 or did I throw out my extra? Are we still in the... Oh, just barely. We technically have a chance of getting a 10 of hearts here and making up for my... There we go. There it is. And somehow I'm still getting rewarded for doing like the stupidest thing you've ever seen. Ah, boo. Oh, well. Okay, big blind, my confidence remains. Although with this hand, not necessarily so much. That's fine. All right, our target is one of the two red jokers in our deck. And there we are. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's see some good results here. Not good enough. Well, we've still got enough to go for a second shot. And it showed up pretty quick, actually. Excuse me. Okay. Take this. It's again, our fallback. I'm not going to stop trying to do this. Ooh, cryptid. Very funny, but... Unfortunately, we are trying to thin the deck as opposed to expand it. I, I, I certainly have, and a large part of that, of course, is because I, I have the goofiest possible deck here. So, at least I think this is probably the goofiest possible deck. It's got to be pretty dang close, if not. Ooh, shit. Um, yeah, so this is where we just start throwing caution to the wind here and hoping, because I think we're up shit creek here. Unfortunately, we didn't have a re-roll on this, but, uh, I mean, really, I'm not going to complain about how this went, because this was probably the silliest run I could possibly do. And also, I think we lost in a very fitting way here of just decking. Well, good times. Very funny. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, I got milled. I basically self-milled myself too hard. Ah, crap. I played Mind Funeral on myself, and I only have three lands in my deck. No! Everything is gone! Um... Hmm... I think we do a lot of Anaglyph. Uh, Zodiac deck. Let's try out Zodiac deck. This one sounds like it's actually quite hard because I don't remember 100% what this, this is like, but the sheer amount of consumables in the shop may crowd out the Jokers a little bit. And I hope that's not the case, but we will certainly find out Oh yeah, we need a 5 for a straight flush. Well, we can do a regular flush. One that's bent into the shape of a paperclip. You know. Yep. Okay. Uh, seeing double. More crusties. Nah, buffoon pack. I'll take the ice cream because that that should sustain itself pretty well for these first few provided I don't get absolutely horrid RNG yeah I mean look at that that's instantaneous that's just free money <sighs> walkie talkie or, well, Walkie Talkie gives us a little bit of both, so I think I'm going to take that, actually. Okay, we'll take the... We'll take the Mega Arcana pack and hope for some fun stuff here. Judgment gave us a Crafty Joker. That's pretty good, because you know me, I'm very complacent. I like to play flushes. Speaking of which... Moon. Bits or something. Uh, let's card those. Oh good, I thought the game was gonna was gonna mess with me a little bit there. Cause it would. Ooh, nice. I nice see that in the shop. Crack an Arcana pack. And Lucky cards are not so much a thing that I, well, that I put, like, any stock in, really. I did have one pretty good run going where I had Lucky Cat and a large amount of Lucky cards in the deck. And I think I had Oops All Sixes, too. So they were procking pretty constantly, but that is not something I would consider to be a very likely situation under any other circumstance. Uh, Mystic Summit, again, we tend to get there pretty easily anyway, just because of my play style. So I'll take it. I mean, here we just almost don't need it, but... Sure, let's just do that. I mean, the boost from Walkie Talkie, yeah, I was going to say that'll give us enough malt to get us over the line. Ooh, a certificate. 
Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah, um, we're gonna take Certificate and hope that it gets us a lot of the things that we like to see. In this case, it's giving us a king with a retrigger. That's that's a thing that exists, all right. I mean, it does something for us. Depending on what else we have at any given time, it would probably do a lot more for us, but I digress. Hey, nice. Accidentally into a two pair. That's pretty good. Mail in rebates. And we do like to discard. Uh, this is down to 70. I'll I'll sell it. I think we can work with this for a little bit. Sooner rather than later, though, I would love to replace it. But we'll see what we get. I hope I'm not making too many horrible noises while I'm over here taking a sip out of this water glass. Actually, I'll mute. Alright, sorry about that. Time to get back to the part where I go, oh yeah, I'm I'm doing this absolutely ridiculous thing for a good reason, I swear. And so far this seems to be serving me pretty okay, which is a bit of a shock. than what we've got. Oh, these are both money. Well, no, one of them is face. The other one's a smiley face. Uh, that feels a little bit more usable than walkie-talkie, I think. Just because it'll give me more multipliers and I have plenty of, of chip sources, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll sell the walkie-talkie. Get that in there. And off we go. Spades debuffed. At least the game did not immediately just hand me a spade sealed card. I would have been like, you're very funny. Game. In in the, the typical sort of like disappointed tone. But yeah. World. Are we spades leaning? No, we're, we're leaning clubs mostly. That, that tarot tycoon. That could be useful. Wheel? Nope. Which is funny because I got a wheel earlier, so I mean, I think we're about on the number there. Jack of clubs. And it's the one that we can discard, which is great because... Yeah, clubs aren't really given... Giving us a ton of support there, although we then just draw a bunch of them afterward. Because again, this game is real funny sometimes, what it likes to give you.
Speaking of which, um, sure, let's, let's do this. Again, still angling for that spade flush, but this could be as strong, not as strong as we'd like. And unfortunately, no proc of our, of our lucky card on there, at least not for money. I didn't see any molts go off either, but yeah, I was, I was hopeful. A chariot will turn, we'll turn that into a card. That. Oh, yeah, it's targets, right? Discardable Ace of Spades. Okay. Chuck. And actually, a very good Chuck there because. In case things come down to it. Well, you know what? Let's do this too and just. Death the six into a king. I could have done it with the three, but I. I goofed. It's even better because that's the card I was supposed to discard for mail and rebate, which is something I've been ignoring for this long. Well, uh. I mean, we lose the, the multiplier, but I'm feeling confident right now, and in particular, I'm feeling confident that the ability to buy more planets would be quite useful for us. Also feeling like... Club strong? Yeah, we're we are that club strong, so we'll we'll do that and carry on. Ah Sheesh. Real jerk move by the game there. That doesn't work anymore, I don't think, so we're gonna discard around it. No. I'll just sit here being like, well, it's just, well. Yeah, and our, our steel card is a diamond also. Right off, yeah. In-hand effects don't trigger during phases where the cards are debuffed. Our numbers looking there. It's gonna do that, I suppose. Let's see what we end up with. Well, there we go. We we climbed past that. I was a little worried for a second. That I was gonna peter out this early. I can use that. Not my favorite, but uh, sure. That's pretty nice, though. Spectral. All right, so we can get choker and lose like a buttload of money then in the process, but. I think we could walk it back. Or we could aura one of our cards. And I wouldn't know what the best target would be there, but uh Yeah, let's let's go for it. I'll live to regret this, I'm sure, but that's okay. Each king held in hand gives 1.5x malt. That's interesting. I mean it'll probably help for that upcoming uh 
wall that we've got there. That Pink Floyd album looming on the horizon. Diamonds. Eh. There we go. That should help us out a little bit now that we have no discards. If I could replace that with something a little bit stronger, but of course, my shop right now is full of a lot of things that aren't useful for that. Well, Onto that just in case. Yeah, see, this is the sort of position that we'd like to be in for that. Discard, wheel, use, nope. Flush, one shot? I mean, with no face cards, that's a little unlikely. Yeah. I wasn't rating my odds particularly high, but I was still hopeful nevertheless. No, I, that was my last hand. Well, yeah, that went real badly. I, I threw a lot too much luck into that. I should not have bought either of the, the Tarot or Planet Tycoon things, because that probably just really weakened my Joker ability there. All right, let's throw in... We'll do at least one more run, and we'll we'll do the abandoned deck. The abandoned deck, I I think I've shown off the abandoned deck before. It's pretty fun. It's an interesting thing that really lends itself to doing the exact same kind of plays that I basically always do. I'll go ahead and I'll throw one more time. And basically, you know what? We're gonna we're going to get a little bit silly here. And we're gonna bank on a straight flush. Which is probably something you shouldn't do. Although if we if we fail, it'll be a case of me getting what I deserve, because really. Yeah, like I said, me getting what I deserve because really. Don't do that. That one doesn't count. I shouldn't have done the double skip, really, and... I'm sorely tempted to just do it again, because, hey, double, although foil, it's... It's not as impressive as all that. If it was double polychrome, I would probably be unable to be stopped. But... You know, I... How do you deal with the Charging Rhino? Take away its credit cards. Wait. How do you deal with the Charging Rhino? Cast Fog. Wait. Okay, Swashbuckler is showing up at the worst possible time, because it's just like, hey, yeah, it's really there to mock you a little bit, almost. Uh, delayed gratification? Why don't you delay this? Or something. Take the crazy Joker, maybe we're going for straights run again. Oh, burnt Joker, all right. Well... Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for straights. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Shit. We were almost there. Hmm. 
seven, six. There we go. That should do it for... Yeah. Oh, by a wide margin. By a wide margin. Arcana pack. Emperor. Hmm. If we want to play mostly straights, I feel like the tower is not quite going to do it for us. Sure, we'll take this! Why not? Excuse me. We're fishing for a six no matter what with this, so. There we go, there it is. This one's towards the middle, so we'll do that. I don't really need this tower, I don't think. I'll hold it until it either becomes too much of an imposition to have in our inventory, or in case we pivot to high card. Yeah, sure, all right, game, whatever you say. Game fucking loves giving me Neptune. It's just like, oh, hey, you know what you could use right now? Neptune. And on some level, I'm just like, no, I really couldn't. And the game is just like, no, I insist. Hey, thanks a lot, Burnt Joker. And more importantly, thanks a lot to these good draws. Is this a one and done? Yeah. Ooh, yes. Stunt man, and it's foil, so that's that's quite funny. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna say sure, okay, whatever you say, game. <laughs> whatever you say, whatever you fucking say, okay, sure, why not? At this point, at this point, nothing is too stupid for us to do. Except for use any of these. They're they're not fulfilling my my Maslow's hierarchy of needs right now. And now, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else, unfortunately I do have to simplify a little bit. It's time to pivot to high card! Like an absolute goofus. Like an absolute gooboo. You know. Eh, we'll buy a pair just, just in case. I'm sure that's not useful, because really, you don't have to fall back on hands when you're you're pivoting to high card. Sell that. Because then that thing is actually useful. Um, yeah. Hmm. A lot of spectral packs, wow. Paintbrush. Probably don't need it, but we'll take it anyway. Even with a debuffed high card, it still works. Because of course, high card doesn't really add a whole lot to your, you just, it's basically just your, your stats. Yeah, it, it was, but I was like, what would I possibly get rid of? 
Stuntman is too strong, and unfortunately, I hate to say it, but I like Square Joker <laughs> in this case. Um, and again, this Marble Joker would be fantastic, but then it knocks my Joker stencil down to being useless. I think it's worth doing this and then maybe selling it off in a couple rounds when the heat is on. Yeah, we'll 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 do that. Cause ooh, negative. Nice. Yeah, because especially if we're playing a bunch of, like, goofus hands, this will have plenty of time to build up. In fact, right now, while the rounds are basically free, having the Joker stencil... Oh, well, there's the hanging chat anyway, and it's negative. I... I wish I could say I planned that, because that's so good. But also, here we are. Uh, there, I'll I'll just take one of these for fun. We'll we'll take the ones for the hands that we won't play, just because maybe they'll eventually show me a uh, maybe eventually they'll show me a Pluto. I'm I am ever hopeful. Unfortunately, I probably don't need to be that hopeful, and yet here we are. I love to win on a debuffed card. It's it's always funny to me. Juggler is actually probably not that necessary. All right, now take a crack in the larger one. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Ah, uh, yes, now all those marble cards are coming in pretty quickly. Ooh, speaking of stone cards. Stone Joker gives plus 25 chips for each stone card in your full deck. You know what? I think that if it's just something that literally just builds and builds and builds and builds. Oh yeah, good point because of Hanging Chad. This guy is going to not be any stronger than times two at any real point. So the Joker stencil can go bump a stump. And we'll just have something that's basically unchecked growth. Because at this point, why not? Emperor? Moon and Tower. That is of no import to us. We'll take the death because that's kind of like a... That, that's kind of like an off-brand tower, really. This is this is a pretty good build. I'm I am digging this quite thoroughly. And yeah, we're again we're we're trying to grow the square joker a little bit here, so we're gonna we're gonna do some goofball plays for a second. And uh yeah, I'll even play this as a pair. It's fine. This I think will be surmountable. 
yeah. All right. So now, now we do that, and I'm feeling like now is the time where we go for it. Just to make sure that we have enough wiggle room, I'm sure it'll be fine, but... Ooh, yeah, actually, it's pretty tight. Shockingly. That's what I get for screwing around. Quit screwing around, you're screwing around too much. Etc. Um, I shouldn't need Wasteful, actually. Unless I really want to fish for the, the big stone hands. Which, actually, that does sound like a very useful thing to do, so, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, those are not of huge value. Discard that. And that. And sure. Now, if there's one major weakness that I have here, and there are plenty to be fair, it is my overall lack of malt. That might stymie me a little bit in the future. However, this does look quite a. Yeah, I mean, it would take too long to build, actually. Never mind. Especially when I have, like, absolutely no money. It sounded like a good idea for a second, let, let me tell you, but then I suddenly went, wait. I'm actually going to take the fool and. Um. Huh. Now hold on. Because the fool is more stones. And the stonier my deck is. Like this just gives me permanent buffs. My hand size is quite small. It's like. It's. Seven? I forget. Either way. Uh, this, this steel card doesn't feel like it's going to actually. Yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't feel like it's going to be there often enough, plus hand size limitations. Ugh. Anyway. Just throw a bunch of stuff without going off of high card, because I want to keep that. Alright, and... Transformation time, because, yeah, that's, like, one of the strongest cards in our deck. And go for it. Yeah, see, not quite a one-shot. See, it's fine. We're still able to grow the square joker. It's... It's not a useless slot, I swear. It's... The Square Joker is currently, like, actually being playable. That's weird. I usually don't regard the Square Joker too fondly, necessarily. Alright. Discard that. Thankfully, it that doesn't count whether or not it'll score. We gotta play five cards here, so we can't grow the Square Joker. But, we can play five stones. And that's always fun. How many are we up to? 300 sword. 12 stone cards. Nice. And yeah, neither of those are too important. Excellent. We got a tower. So we'll just, just immediately shift our lowest card over to that. No further planning required.
Eh, the cash is fine. The rest of those aren't too important. See money? I I'm not that concerned about money, really, so... That's the hand we were looking for. Four stones. Oh, I wish that was a little bit more doable. Really, I, I just, I like my jokers right now. I don't want to dump these. They're, they're all helping out too much. So I guess we're going to skip blackboard for now. And even then, I'd probably have to, like, tweak the deck heavily to make absolutely sure that it did what I wanted it to. And death and the tower are basically the same at this point. I'll use death just because, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is... This one is going to at least complete that. And we're going to find nothing of huge value in here. But we'll take the Neptune anyway because, hey. Straight flush. Very funny. A hand that certainly you could build around, in theory. And then never get it. As you say, I'm starting to feel the the ratios get a little bit chunky here in terms of not necessarily getting me as many of my my multiple stone card hands. But it could just be RNG being as funny as ever. We'll take this on the off chance that the anti nine voucher is antimatter. <laughs> antimatter. Take that. One random joker disabled every hand. That's potentially not horrible, is what I'll say. Is this a one shot? Not quite, actually. All right, so we'll delete those. Because, yeah, we want to swing things a little bit more in favor of making sure that, like, Oh yeah, I should probably check that instead to count up my stone cards. 12... No, sorry, 16. We have 18 in the deck right now. Nice. Take the Fool. Take the Hangman. Eat those, because... Really, what do we need at this point in terms of any of that? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, that's a two pair. What am I doing? Discard those correctly. Oh yeah, scary face there for all the good that would ever do you in this deck. Oh, my stuntman was disabled. I 
I mean, I can deal with that, but this is just gonna be like no points. Yeah, this has definitely been a, a night for some incredibly silly runs. Like just some of the goofiest stuff that we've seen in a while. Oh no, not my, my hanging chad, no. And down goes Stuntman again. Discard. I was going to say, where are those? I know they still exist. Boy, if only I targeted Burnt Joker after a, a second round there, it would probably even out a little better. All right. We're into the post game, and tragically, they decided to feed me seed money as my thing there. Um, so the amount of things that I possibly could use here that would be better are quite small, but I'm fishing for a negative out of one of these packs, which I'm actually like, wait a sec, is that even a thing I can do? Reroll? Nada. This is still enough to guess. Well, within spitting distance, anyway. Yeah, sadly, again, we don't have the crazy malt to get us to, like, insta kill range, but also, again. This entire set of things is just like, at, at some point, the bottom is going to drop out of the barrel for Stuntman, and I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to chuck that, because that's just my weakest card, I think. O other than Square, well, Square Joker provides, uh, provides malt and chips. Plus, it does, it does just keep growing, so... At the very least, it has that going for it. Yeah, we'll save that in hand, just in case that becomes useful. And again, Burnt Joker is is further, further growth. With Marble Joker and, and Stone Joker being part of a combo, Excuse me if I stumble over my words. I'm just like, well, gee, this is a shock. All right, now game, I need like something that gives me a really big multiply. Ah, uh, nothing here at all in that regard. This is like the worst shop that I've seen in a while. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re-roll. All right. Do that. Yeah, re-roll. Odd Todd, that doesn't, that doesn't help us. Ride the bus. Um. Okay, so. That would make things quite rough for a bit here. In fact, this might be me like scooping before the boss almost. But yeah, I'm I'm terribly sorry, stunt man. You're not the best thing I could do right now.
Yeah, see, the, the increasing malt, because, again, this is just literally, uh, you know, unchanging growth. That, you can't stop that from going up unless the game decides to, like, break or something. Which would make me a little sad, but... There would only be so much I could do there. Discard. Oh, hey, here we go. Five stone cards. Ah, oh, damn. We were close. On, on the other hand, I do still think that dumping Stuntman for something that gave me molt was technically the correct move. However, yeah, you can see that we, we came up a little short. This just was not quite out of control enough to get us where we were going. And I could have dumped Burnt Joker, really, because it wouldn't have given us too much more in the greater scheme. Yeah, that probably was actually the play. Oh, well. A little late for could have beens and all of that stuff. That, folks, it's a little bit of a short stream tonight, I admit. But that, I believe, is going to do it for us for tonight. Yeah, I got... Uh, but you won't catch me graveling. <laughs>